monkeypox. That's the big thing now. Already, I've read articles where overseas in Europe, they're already starting to lock people down and shutter businesses. You know the Biden administration is going to try that in the United States over monkeypox. Don't let them do it. We've had enough. We've had enough of lockdowns, shuttering businesses, and ruining our economy over this stuff. Just take care of yourself. Be as healthy as you can be. You know, history is what it is, and the only thing you can do with history at this point is learn from it. So when Europeans started settling North America before the United States declared independence, they brought smallpox, the plague, they brought all kinds of diseases with them, and it infected the Native American population of this country. Now, that's bad, but, you know, there's nothing we can do about it now. This is 2022. That happened a long time ago in the 15, 1600s. There's nothing we can do about that except learn from it. Now, it's interesting to me that we have this monkeypox outbreak and an open border at the South. It would be interesting, very interesting, to follow where Joe Biden is putting these people on a plane and flying them all over the country and finding out where the monkeypox outbreaks are in comparison to where he's sending all these illegals. Here's another thing. In Pennsylvania, we have a primary election that is undecided right now. They still haven't decided who won those primaries yet. You know, the vote's being withheld. It's sort of like the 2020 election where they stopped counting at 2 a.m. in the morning. Same thing's happening with this primary. Another thing that would be very interesting is to see where Joe Biden put all of these illegal aliens in the country where he flew them to from the southern border and see if a bunch of them went to Pennsylvania and compare that to the election problems that they're having and where Joe Biden is sending these people. Another thing that's very interesting is Governor Abbott of Texas sent three busloads of border jumpers to Washington, D.C. The Biden administration has stopped, stopped dropping people off in Texas. Wonder why. Now, don't take my word for it. Make up your own mind. And always remember, laughter is good medicine. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>